Highest signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Verse, Cross, Watching. Welcome to Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at and see why is it that your person goes to you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video where the show more section is. Alright guys, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, um, I think your person didn't necessarily see this working out, to be honest with you. <clears throat> and, you know, when someone doesn't believe that <clears throat> the two of you are meant to be, or the two of you have a connection here, they feel a lot more justified in ending a relationship, in ending a connection. Um, I do feel like this person had a fear of hurting you, though, which is why they didn't necessarily sit you down and tell you what was going on with them emotionally, internally. Um, they've just sort of abruptly ended the connection or just, you know, abruptly, abruptly, sorry, cut off all contact or communication with you. That's not to say there wasn't a spark because there clearly was and there still may be. Um, so you, the both of you definitely felt that spark between the two of you and no doubt about it, this person did shower you with a lot of attention, a lot of affection. However, um, they may have even done a slow fade for some of you. It may not have been all that abruptly. The Ace of Swords, maybe they've cut off, you know, they've slowly faded from the connection uh, to sort of slowly but surely signal their disinterest or the fact that they were, you know, the interest here was dissolving over time. It, they were also avoiding hurting you, okay? They were so, sort of trying to do it with grace. I'm also getting you know, the... Okay, the convenience of technology here for this individual. I think they maybe were date, uh, active on several dating apps or on a few dating apps here. They may also have been talking with a lot of other people and therefore they were presented with an abundance of connections. Okay, so the other thing is maybe they... Maybe they were talking to other people here and they felt like someone else was a better match for them. And because... And the two of you may have even met on a dating app. And a lot of the times, you know, people these days use their devices, their mobile phones, their computers and whatnot as a shield. So much so that people are then becoming de desensitized. And they do things that they normally wouldn't do, like pe leaving people, you know, high and dry. So... There's this sense of, yeah, I feel like there's a sense of them having, them being presented with a lot of options. And, the, and even though there was that initial spark and that chemistry, maybe over time it did fade or dissolve. Or maybe, you know, it just sort of stagnated, whereas then they connected with someone else and they felt that they were more suitable, more compatible. And instead of talking to you or communicating to you, they didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? They didn't want to hurt your feelings. They also didn't want to have, um, even though their actions hurt you, right? So either way, they were going to hurt you. And if, had they sat down and spoke with you, it probably would have been less painful. However, um, it feels like this, this person, this person may also be an avoidant personality as well, which is, when relationships are new to them, there's this internal push and pull based on this intense fear of judgment and rejection, which can lead them to stay away or keep 
a distance. That's the other thing, okay? Maybe there was this energy of them, because in the past, maybe they have been rejected. Maybe they've been hurt or abandoned. And, you know, they may have been ghosted in the past as well. And in order to protect their energy and to protect their feelings, they felt like... You know, they, before you ghosted them or before you pulled away or before you lost interest, they felt like they had to beat you to it. Which does sound very juvenile, very childlike, very emotional, emotionally immature, but hey, there you have it. Uh, I do feel like it's also, there's an energy of anxiety, okay? Maybe this person was also very worried about the outcome of the relationship and where it was going or where it was heading. And they felt that it was safer to just you know, um, end things without any contact. Um, also, did I, did I mention, you know, them having an avoidant or an insecure style, which basically leads them to go into, you know, hermit mode or turtle mode, as I like to call it. And what happens is this, this hermit mode energy or turtle mode energy manifests itself as ghosting behavior, because this is them essentially protecting their heart, protecting their um, guarding their heart, protecting their heart. Um, so again, them ghosting you before you ghosting them, them rejecting you before you um, reject them. And there's this energy, you know, this push and pull energy that we spoke about earlier. This person who does feel like they have a fearful, avoidant attachment style, basically they sort of oscillate between wanting and craving intimacy to then avoiding intimacy when they do get very close to someone, okay? So wanting, craving intimacy, and then avoiding and um, pushing people away when they feel that emotional closeness. And so it goes round and round. Will we hear from them again? Chances are you will. Chances are they might reconnect and reach out to you. Um, Often time, people who ghost typically do. But if they do, I think it's important that you hold them accountable because they do feel like they're emotionally immature about these inconsistencies between what they say and what they do. Um, there is a... Uh, it feels like it, there's a lack of committal energy, so a bit of a non-committal energy um, with them as well. I also feel like this person is doing things to self-sabotage, okay, ghosting, which makes sense. So them, you know, seeing that maybe this could have been a relationship, maybe the chemistry or the spark did diminish a little bit, but, you know, there was a compatibility, there was a mental compatibility, but it feels like this person kind of sabotaged what could have been a healthy, you know, relationship. They don't want to get too attached, guys. So there's that non-committal type of energy. Is them being scared of attachment. Them um, pulling away. And this type of behavior is often seen in early adolescent experiences or childhood experiences. So, you know, people learn very early on from people, from places and things that weren't stable and as a safety mechanism they then try not to get too close or too attached to any person or any one thing specifically okay and the other thing is they got what they wanted from you I know it sounds very um, very blunt but you know once they've accomplished what they wanted to accomplish They'll disappear and maybe that's what's happened here. And maybe they weren't ever really interested in a relationship with you, right? Maybe, you know, they told you things that, they, that you wanted to hear. Maybe perhaps you even, you know, you perceived um, things in a certain light and a certain angle. But it does feel like, I feel like there's a multitude of reasons as to why this person left. So I don't think we can just narrow it down to the one re to the one you know reason or the one factor why this person ghosted you. Um, I do feel like this person is likely to come back though, but notice the infinity loop, which which I feel like is uh, a cyclical cyclical patterns of 
emotional behavior which tend to play out in their current relationship so if they do come back and if they don't you know take any personal accountability for it it's very likely that they will go stew again so it's very important that they are being held accountable and they're being pulled up about what it is that they've done here okay and these are your messages guys thanks so much for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now